Well, the course is ready. The pairings have been set. The sun has even come out today. And tomorrow morning, the 29th annual TC Open gets underway at beautiful Uplands Golf Course. $150,000 in prize money has attracted some of the game's best up-and-coming professionals and at least one past champion who is coming out of retirement for this event. Where was it where you were like, whoa, I've made it? Uh, you know what? It was at the Canadian Open. I was uh, standing on the third tee, and I look over on the putting green, and uh, Jack Nicholas and Greg Norman and Ben Crenshaw, and they're all standing around. And uh, um, I make a hole in one, and I see Greg Norman and Jack Nicholas applauding. And I go, you know, that's pretty good. That I, I kind of feel like I belong here. <laughs> but that was a, that was a long time ago. That was in the early '90s. Well, that was in 1992, in fact, at Glen Abbey. When Arden Knoll's professional golf career was just taking off, he got his break on the Canadian Tour, played on the Nationwide Tour, even made it all the way to the PGA and played the U.S. Open not once, but twice. You know, a wasp sting that took 75% of his eyesight forced him into retirement in 1999. That was in his right eye, but he never lost sight of his passion for the game. After 13 years away from tournament golf, Arden Knoll is ready to tee off once again. The truth. My wife gave me permission to come back out and give it a shot. <laughs> it's true. Uh, she said you'd probably regret it for the rest of your life if you didn't. So I'm going to try and play a few events on the Canadian Tour and see if I'm ready to play at the next level and if I can go qualify. If I'm not, I won't. But at least this is an opportunity. The Canadian Tour has been really good to me. I'm a past champion out here, so it's great. You know, I'm going to see what see what it's like to play tournament golf again. Kelowna is home for an old, but he's a good old Saskatchewan boy, and he loves playing golf in Victoria. He won the TC Open in 1996 at Royal Callwood when it was known as the Payless Open. The veteran may not hit the ball as long as some of the young golfers this week, but his short game is his biggest weapon. Noel's putter is his favorite club in the bag. What do you need to do this week in order to, uh, to continue on here on the tour? If I see that I can control the flight of the golf ball and that uh, I still have a short game that can compete, you know what? I'll uh, take the next. I'll go to the next couple of events. I'm going to play in Saskatchewan. I'm already committed there, and I'm going to play in Manitoba. Before I came out, I'd only played three rounds of golf this year, so it's a lot to absorb when you've practiced every day. I've hit balls every day. I haven't done that for, like I said, 13 years. So it's going to be interesting. Well, they have a new coach, only a handful of returning players, and predicted to be in a rebuilding mode this season. But the Victoria Shamrocks never got that memo. They are a perfect 4-0 to start the season and sit in top spot in the WLA. Tonight, the Rocks are home to the Coquitlam Adanax. The ball drops at 7.45. Highlights with Jordan Cunningham at 11. Well, some junior lacrosse for you from last night in Colwood. These junior Shamrocks are hosting the Nanaimo Timberman second period. Rocks up 6-2, and Chris Wardle scores his second of the night. And check out the sheer mastery. Jordan Cunningham's new favorite lacrosse player. Why? Because his name is Jordan Cunningham with the strip and the steal. Then the slick finish. Jordan Cunningham has the skills. We'll make it two straight wins for the Junior Rocks. 16-7 was the final. Next action for them is Sunday at Wanda Fuca versus Port Coquitlam. Well, if cycling is all about pain tolerance, then Ryder Hedgedahl has the pain threshold of roadkill. Ryder announced today he will follow up his punishing victory in the Giro d'Italia by riding in the Tour de France and also still wants to represent Canada in the Olympics. Well, Team Garmin Barracuda says Ryder will be their top guy in the general classification in the 99th Tour de France. The last man to win both the Giro and the Tour de France was Marco Pantani, who did it back in 1998. Only seven riders have ever done it. As for the Olympics, Cycling Canada has one berth for the time trial and road race in London. Ryder is one of 11 athletes on the short list. Well, let's just call him Superman if he does yeah. all this. If he wow, does this tour. That is grueling. Let's hope he gets on the team, too. That would be crazy if he didn't. He has to go. Uh, I know you don't really want to talk about this. I, I'm, I am so choked up about your bike, and I want to show the picture of it again. Uh, folks, if you missed it earlier, uh, this is the bike that, that Myra rode more than 1,000 kilometers helping kids with cancer in the Tour de Rock in 2010. 
Uh, some lowlife cretin has stolen it from the uh, storage locker at her uh, condominium. Uh, if you see it, if you see somebody trying to sell it, uh, if you see it on, uh, online on one of the used sites, uh, please contact police. Uh, we would sure like to get it back. I mean, you can, you can replace the bike, man, but you can't replace the memories that you made on it. No, and that's just it. It's, it's the stories, it's the memories, it's the journey that, that makes me most sad about it. So uh, if anyone sees it and there's any way I could get it back, I won't even ask questions. Yeah, I just want it home. Yeah, exactly. All right, my thank you. Thank you.